it is Kristen with Gunderson's Bookkeeping. I am going to be talking about setting up your products and services properly in QuickBooks Online. Just so you know, our products and services are used in sales receipts and invoices, and they serve as a link from transaction forms to the chart of accounts. We use, um, we can track taxable products, quantities and pricing, and we will be able to run sales reports based off of the products and services as well. So let's go ahead and set up a new uh, product or service. I'm going to switch over to our demo account, which is Craig's Design and Landscape Service. Where you'll find the products and services is up here at the gear sign underneath lists and products and services. So here is everything that's already set up in the, in the, the demo company. So we're going to go ahead and add new. And let's talk about these different um, categories that we can choose from. If you don't know what they are, obviously they have a description to read from. But inventory, that is products that you're going to be buying and selling and that you want to keep track of, okay? Non-inventory is products that you don't need to keep track of. And a, good, a really good example of this is all of the bolts and nuts that you use to, um, to put things together. Or like if you're installing a, you know, something. Services are services that you provide to customers. For example, like landscaping or tax preparation, bookkeeping, etc. Bundle, that is when we want to be able to, say we are a landscaping company and we want to be able to bundle putting together um landscaping and trimming and pulling weeds. We could bundle a service, uh, a product that we would sell to our customers that has those three items together in it. So we're going to go ahead and start off with an inventory item that we're going to add. So this is where we will add an inventory item. Um, let's... Um, bushes. We're going to add bushes. And if we had a SKU number, like this is really for like stores that have SKU numbers. Category. Um, I'm going to put this underneath the landscaping category because, you know, putting bushes is part of the landscaping. And then this is where we put in how many we already have on hand. So we might have three bushes on hand already. And as of today's date, which is 10, 31, 19. And we reorder when we get down to say one bush because you never want to run out. This is where we're going to keep um, the inventory assets. And then here's where we put in a description. This is what shows up on the invoices. So three foot bush and I'm not a landscaper. So this is where we are going to, this is the selling price that's going to show up on the invoices. So say we sell these bushes for $10 each sale of product income. That sounds pretty good. And then is this item taxable? Um, yeah, I would think that, um, Bushes are taxable. Okay, and then purchase. Um, so this is what it looks like when we uh, when we three foot bush. Okay, and this is how much it costs us. Say it costs us three dollars and thirty four cents. It goes into the cost of goods sold category, and the vendor that we buy it from. If we have a preferred vendor, we can put that. Um, We're going to put it from EDD and then save and close. So then that item will show up right here under landscaping. Okay, 
So the next item, let's go ahead and put in a non-inventory. So we're gonna go up here to the new sign again, non-inventory. Um, you know what? This one's gonna be like when we rocks, like um, decorative rocks. We don't have a skew category. I guess it'd be under landscaping, huh? Or maybe design. I don't know, landscaping. Um, and we're going to sell it for, I don't know, um, $5. The income account, this is, uh, this is where it's going to show up on the profit and loss. So we want to make sure it goes to an income account. Um, yeah, we'll just put it in their services, I guess. Is it taxable? Yes. And then if you purchase it from a vendor or service, we can put this down here. It's not saving at all. Um, and say we know that when we buy a We buy it, we buy, probably buy it for, I don't know, $2. And then the expense account that it goes to, here we will want to have it as an expense account because, um, you know. And then EDD we also buy from there. So let me just, yep, that looks good. So we'll save and close. So now, let's look under landscape and decorative rocks. Perfect. Next, let's do services. So we're going to add another new to services. And We're just going to call this uh, design landscape, design landscaping. Put underneath the design. This again, this is what shows up on the, the invoice. So if you want a particular thing to show up on the invoice, um, this is where you put it. And say we charge $100 an hour for that. Again, it goes to services. And normally services are non-taxable, so I'm going to change that. And we don't buy this from someone else. This is just a service that we offer. So then we're going to go save and close. And then here's where it showed up. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to bundle, okay? So... This is, instead of having all those individual line items show up, we're just going to have one bundled um, thing to choose from when on, like, the invoice, okay? So, um, this might be, um, we might have one for uh, weekly yard maintenance and oh I forgot to tell you like if you have a picture of your item this is where you can go ahead and upload it okay so
If you want it all bundled into one item on the invoice, this is where we're going to go ahead and click that. Otherwise, they'll show up as each individual one. So let's see what we got. So we're going to have trimming. We're going to be trimming the trees in here. And then what else would we do on a weekly yard service? Gardening, weekly gardening service. That sounds pretty good. And then if we had to add lines, we would add lines. And this would be good, like say you have a, you install doors or something like that. So, or garage doors. Here's where we could create a bundle and add, okay, so we have like two hinges on each side or, um, and it has like the laser beams and it includes like a, um, we need to put oil, so we'd have the oil that we need to use to grease the hinges and like four panels and maybe a garage door opener. So this is how we could bundle a new garage door open, a uh, new garage door service. And then we'd have a service and we know that it typically takes two hours to do all this. So then we add two hours of um, service like at this line item and then save and close. All right, so that is pretty much everything that um, you should need to know with setting up products and services. And if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to ask them. Um, we are here to help. And if you are watching this on Facebook, go ahead and do hashtag replay. And we're actually going to be for people who go ahead and share this out, we are going to be um, doing prizes and um, we, we won't do it for everyone, but for when we see that people are sharing this, we're going to um, make sure you put shared in the comments too. And for every video, um, for every, um, when you share it, We'll give away one or two prizes per video that we're doing. Um, and we're just having fun doing this and helping everyone. All right. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.